Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a semicircle center at O. And uh, this semicircle has a segment drawn from a point A to point B, which has a, a dimension of uh, 16 units for its distance. And uh, from B to, uh, to point C on the semicircle's uh, diameter, it is uh, 21 units. And from the center to point C, it is uh, 10 units and uh, it is given that the angle at uh, B is uh, 90 degrees and we are required to find the radius of this uh, blue semicircle. Okay, so again, we have a disclaimer for this problem. Uh, figure may not be true to the scale. Okay, so for our first method is uh, we need to draw a segment from this uh, so the center of this uh, semicircle to be this uh, perpendicular bisector of this uh, this segment AB. Okay. And this will should be perpendicular. Okay, so since that is a perpendicular bisector, so this uh, length from this uh, A to the midpoint is, uh, it should be, 8 units and this should be also 8 units okay so next is uh, we draw a line from the center of this of this uh, yellow i mean a blue semicircle from the center to this uh, 21 unit segment and it should be a uh, perpendicular okay so since uh, this uh, one on one side is a uh, perpendicular uh, then uh, this is also perpendicular okay and since you have already three angles inside this uh, uh, rectangle I mean this quadrilateral form then this of course should be 90 so the quadrilateral is a rectangle and therefore if that, that is a rectangle then this should be also uh, 8 units Okay, so next is we get this uh, length, this length here, uh, this length. So let's call this point as uh, uh, F, so F. So that is triangle OFC. So OC squared is equal to OF squared plus uh, FC squared. So OC is 10 uh, squared is equal to OF which is uh, 8 square plus uh, FC square. So FC square is equal to 10 square minus 8 square. So this will be FC square is equal to 100 minus this uh, 64 and FC equal to the square root of this uh, this becomes uh, 36 so square root of 36 so fc square so square root square root so fc is equal to 6 units okay so next is we focus on this uh, segment of bc so BC is uh, composed of BF plus FC. So BF plus FC is equal to BC. Okay, so BF is unknown. Plus FC which is 6. And BC is given to be 21. So BF is equal to 21 minus 6. So BF is equal to 15 units. Okay, so next is we draw a line from this uh, point A to point O, which is the center of this uh, semicircle. So A to O. And since AB is a straight line and one angle is uh, 90 degrees, so this angle is 90. And since uh, 
uh, this is a rectangle then since BC, BF is 15 so this length is also 15 okay so we actually form a small uh, right triangle and uh, the legs are already known 8 and 15 so if we find this hypotenuse then we will uh, it is also the radius okay so for the final step since we already have the two legs of this uh, right triangle so if we find AO it is the radius so AO is equal to the square root of uh, uh, 8 square plus uh, 15 square so AO is equal to 64 plus 225 and AO is equal to square root of uh, 289 AO gives us the value of uh, 17 units. And since R is equal to AO, R is the radius to be 17 units. And that is our answer for the first method. Okay, so for our second method, our first step is we need to draw a line from uh, say a point A that should be perpendicular to this point A and next is we draw a line from this intersection let's call this intersection as uh, F so F from that point F so we draw another line that should be uh, perpendicular to segment BC so this is perpendicular and since a BC is a straight line then this should be perpendicular also and so uh, as you can see inside this quadrilateral we already have three 90 degree angles and therefore this uh, angle here should be 90 degrees and this is actually a, a rectangle AB and let's call this uh, point as G Okay, so next is we draw another uh, line that should be the perpendicular bisector of this uh, segment AB at uh, uh, this point to the center. So as you can see, we already uh, uh, formed this uh, trapezoid AF uh, CB. And this the line that we have just drawn is a, is the actually the median of this trapezoid because this is the perpendicular bisector. And if that is the case, so this length should be eight, and this should be eight. So since uh, this ABFG is a rectangle, so this should be eight also. And since that is the median. Then this OC is 10. So this length should be also 10. So this length is 10. Okay, so next is we find the length of uh, GC. Okay, so the length of the GC is... GC is actually one leg. So GC is equal to the square root of uh, this uh, FC squared minus uh, FG squared okay, so GC is equal to the square root of uh, FC squared is 20 squared minus this FC FC is uh, 16 squared okay, so GC is equal to the square root of uh, 400 minus uh, 200 uh, 56 so GC gives us the square root of uh, 144 and GC gives us 12 units okay so if GC is uh, already 12 as we have calculated so this becomes a 12 so 
BG will be 21 minus 12. So, this will be 9 units. Okay. And this should be also 9 units because this is a rectangle. Okay. So, next is uh, we get the this uh, median. So, let's call this uh, um, H, this point H. This median HO. Okay. So, the median HO is just simply uh, this uh, AF. So, HO is equal to AF, this length AF plus this uh, BC. So, BC. So, HO is equal to AF plus uh, BC all over 2. So, HO is equal to AF which is 9 plus BC which is a 21 all over 2. This gives us 30. So, 30 all over 2. So, HO is equal to 15 units. Okay. So, for the final step, so we just need to uh, draw a line from this A to point O. And since this HO is 15, and we actually form the right triangle AHO, because at H, it is the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisector OH. So, AO is simply the square root of this uh, AH. So, AH square plus OH uh, square. So, AO is equal to the square root of this uh, AH, which is 8 square plus OH, which is 15 squared. So, AO is equal to the square root of uh, 64 plus 225 so AO is equal to the square root of this uh, 289 AO which is equal to the radius equal to 17 units and that is our answer for the second method okay so you can actually use uh, the segment uh, BO to be the hypotenuse because it will have the same length, so it will have the same result and the same radius. So uh, that is uh, another. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.